This is for anybody who feels like big social events take a lot of energy to be at. If you're on TikTok, you obviously know you're not alone. Social events take a lot of energy from us because there's a lot of energy around us. And each of us, according to human design, have a number of what we call undefined centers, which these are centers that pick up information from people and the environment. If we're to look at this chart right here, these are the undefined centers. So root pressure, stress, sacral sexual creative energy, vital information, health, and also ego, this person is going to pick up little samples from everybody that they come into contact with. And this is contact like energetic contact. Like if you're standing over there and I'm right here and we're breathing the same air, our auras are in each other. We're, we're inside each other. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite way of keeping my own energy safe and charged up in big social events. Pre-event, this is preparation time. Before I go do something, I'm not doing other things. I'm not trying to be productive. I'm not learning. I'm actually letting myself be bored, which this can kind of be challenging sometimes because there's a lot of me that's like, oh, I want to be really efficient with my time and I can be productive and there's always something to work on and I'm a father and am I making enough money and blah, 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 blah. Okay, I know there's a lot to it, but giving yourself like 15 to 10 minutes even that's on the low end but giving yourself some time to just literally be bored and stare at the fucking wall is gonna help your hormones a lot before i get into the actual space like before i go through the gate or walk through the door of the house i do this breathing technique i breathe in through the nose and i suck my belly in then i breathe out and I push my belly out. Breathe in, in, out, out. See, the normal breathing pattern is like this. So I'm doing the opposite of that. I'm doing that as a way of grounding myself into my body before I enter the event. During the event, I'm identifying where my environment is. Another thing about human design is that it tells you what environment you're going to feel most natural in. I'm a valleys person. So oftentimes I find a place in the area, one of the first things I do, where I can sit on the floor and be as chill as a cucumber. Now there's so many other techniques that I wanna share with you for during the event stuff, but I'll probably just make another video for that. Let me know if this is helpful and you want that video. Otherwise, I, maybe I won't make it. Post event, I'm gonna do that breathing technique as I walk out again, and I'm also gonna do this. It's called Kenyoku, it's a dry bathing technique, or at least that's the translation. Inhale a hand up to the shoulder, swipe down the arm. Same thing on the other side. Exhale, inhale, now we're doing the insides of the arms. And the other side, and the last part of the sequence is across the body. And then strike a ninja pose. <laughs> so with that one, it's taught as like a cleansing technique, like get this shit off me, but it actually works better as a kind of like find yourself technique. That's a terrible name for it. But I'm touching myself, not to get stuff off me, but to actually feel myself. So I was going a little fast earlier just to show you all the sequence. But this is the speed that I normally go at. And I'm very intentional with it. I'm feeling every little bit of my skin, every sensation, as though you're about to make love to somebody and you're touching them in a very tantric way. This is the way that you wanna to touch yourself. Because finding yourself within the chaos is going to be the easiest way to discern the difference between something that's not yours and something that's actually yours. A lot of people are like trying to figure out what's mine, what's not mine before they actually come into contact with themselves. And that's the thing that we always have contact with is touch your body, so touch your body. Then once I'm back home, I do not immediately go to sleep. I do the boredom thing again. I give myself another 10, 15 minutes to just sit and stare. So this is just my personal way of doing this. For the other types, generators and manifestors, this might be a little different, maybe not necessary, but it's still worth a shot. Like. If this seems interesting to you, give it a shot and see how you feel the next time you're at a big event. If you want more information on your human design, all you gotta do is go to reikimarco.com and you can generate a body graph and buy a report. It's only $20. If you want my help with your evolution, I do one-on-ones. That calendar is also on reikimarco.com. 
Thanks for tuning in. Give me a like, share, follow, duck, dip, dive, and dodge if you feel like it.